All right, guys, we've had this big countdown, and today is really the last day. Uh, I'm not coming back tomorrow. So this is my last morning. Um, you know, I was trying to think about, well, what do I need to uh, talk about, you know, on my last day? Um, <laughs> I mean, because I've done this, all this big thing, you know, all these days, all this big countdown, and they'd come up with something good. Uh, but I, you know, I guess I'll just kind of talk about just in general uh, teaching and education. And uh, if you're going to go into it, um, you know, the the Bible, Solomon says all this stuff about all his vanity when he looks back on his life. You know, in other words, it's all useless. A lot of this stuff you do is useless. And a lot of stuff I've done is useless. Um, you know, and that frustrates you, you know, because when you're filing all this stuff and making all these phone calls and doing all these procedural operational things and things that have to do with legal aspects and all that stuff, it does seem useless. You know, there's a reason why we do all the things we do, but it just seems, you know, that you're wasting your time. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of the stuff I did was useless. Uh, you know, but probably when you get down to it, the number one, you know, there's probably a couple things that I think are important over the course of my career. One of them is, you know, I was hired um, to educate, to educate people. Uh, you know, and I look back, did I educate people? Uh, was I part of that process? Um, and I can say that I did, you know, over all the years, teaching in my classrooms, being an administrator, you know, serving teachers and parents and students and all that kind of thing. I helped people get an education. Um, and that's, that was my job, is to help people get an education. And, uh, and I feel confident that, that, you know, for the most part I did that. I, you know, know that there are a lot of people that I taught, you know, and they're now teachers and they're, um, you know, you got people that are policemen and then the military and all kind of, you know, all kind of fields over all these years that are doing all kind of things. And I was part of that process and I'm glad that I was part of that process because that's what we're here for, you know, is an education system. It's, you know, where people learn. Um, you know, the other thing, you know, I guess the golden rule would be the other one. You know, did I treat people, uh, you know, the way that they should be treated, the way that I want to be treated? And, and for the most part, I did. Probably the first half of my career um, before I became a Christian, you know, not as much. Uh, but I still, you know, tried to treat people. And, I, you know, when I was younger, um, you know, there were times when I, I was mean, you know, and stuff like that. And people are people, you know. Teachers are people and they have problems just like everybody else and they have personality things just like everybody else and not every one of them is going to be the way you want them to be. And, um, you know, that's part of the process. I think now they want teachers to be, you know, like machines and you have to, you know, you can't ever make a mistake. You can never say anything wrong. You can't ever, you know, back when I started, there was a lot more, you know, you didn't have social media and stuff like you do now. And so uh, we had a lot more um, autonomy there and a lot more, uh, it wasn't as, you weren't as likely to get caught doing something or saying something wrong as you are now. So, um, but you know, after, like I said, after I became a Christian, the second half of my career, especially, um, I feel comfortable with the way I treated people. You know, I'm sure I did some things wrong, just like everybody else. But, um, uh, you know, I'm satisfied with that part of my career. Um, and for you people that are, you know, looking at maybe getting into education, or you're a new teacher, uh, I would say the big thing you need to get ready for is change. Because one thing that I figured out, the very first year I taught, the very first year, um, I called up to set up my observations. Uh, and the state was doing our observations. Risa was doing our observations. And I called them up and the very first thing that happened, I spent my whole time in college learning how to do this observation system. And before I even did one observation, they changed it the very first year. So that's one thing I have figured out in education, things change. The curriculum changes, all the rules change, all the expectations change, everything changes. And if you're not a person that can deal with change, uh, education is gonna be an issue for you because it is constantly changing. And it changes now faster than it used to. Uh, and if you're a person like me that likes routine, you know, that was what I liked about teaching. I did the same thing six times in a row. Um, coaching, you did the same thing every day. You had the same routines. You stretched the same way. I mean, I am a routine person and teaching was right up my alley. Um, but I also had to be able to deal with these big changes. So, uh, if you're a person that has a hard time with that, 
I'd, I'd advise another career where things stay the same because education, they're always changing. But the one thing that stays the same is that you're here to, to help kids learn. And, uh, and I'm glad that I was part of that. And um, thank you guys for watching my blog. And this will be the last one that is in a school. Everything else after this, I'll do some more about education, uh, but everything after this is gonna be from the retired standpoint. So you guys have a good day. Cleaning out the office today, putting all these files and stuff up don't really bother me. That's not that big a deal. Got a little bit of stuff left to go. Not a whole lot, but when you start putting this stuff up, start putting up all your pictures and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff you put up. Now that's like watching your life pass by. So that one's a little tougher. But the rest of this, I'm not going to have a problem getting rid of. You walk out the back door on your last day, just like you walked in the front door on your first day. And that's it.